Hi, I'm Jason Beaumont with LA Networks. I'm a system engineer. We're a Cisco uh, partner in the Los Angeles area. And today uh, we're going to be covering NTP or Network Time Protocol and how to set it up. Clearly a critical administrative type of service uh, for any uh, network and particularly so in ACI. Uh, the reason being is that the fabric is kind of this holistic concept in ACI and it's uh, critical that we have uh, time synchronization across all device uh, devices in the fabric. So uh, we're going to take a look at how to set up NTP and uh, it's fairly straightforward. Um, it'll be the first time we're creating some new objects so that'll be kind of interesting. Uh, later on in another video we're going to come back and talk about naming those objects. Today we're not going to worry about the naming as much. So with that being said let's get in and do some NTP. Okay, so we're going to hop onto our APIC now and take a look at how to configure NTP. So NTP, again, you might think it would normally be under the admin. It's actually under fabric and fabric policies. When you set the NTP policy or configuration, it's going to be fabric wide. So if I click on pod policies, and this is a common construct in ACI, policies, policy groups, and profiles. And we'll talk a lot more about this in other videos like in the naming standards but effectively uh, policies are individual items you might want to set policy groups are collections of those policies into a, a unified group uh, that you might want to configure again and again and profiles are where you might want to apply that group right so we're going to start with policies. And if I click the down arrow, you'll see that there's a date and time folder. So I can go ahead and create a new date and time policy. And we'll talk about naming in a future video. So for right now, I'm just going to call it um, NTP policy. Okay. Administrative state, I could change it to from disabled to enabled in our case we'll go ahead and go to enable it's asking if i want to do any authentication for right now i'll say no but you can just click this little plus arrow if you did if that's appropriate to you okay and i hit next and now it wants to know what are my servers okay so i go ahead and click on here and i might say that the first server is 172.16. One dot fifty, for example. Okay, and I might say he's my preferred server. Okay, and for the management EPG, okay, we're going to use that out of band management that we set up earlier. Okay, so you'll remember from the previous video where we did out of band configuration, we used that default EPG and we set it to be out of band, which is very common in ACI. We typically do use out of band. If I click OK, I can now go ahead, right on the same screen, I can go ahead and add my second one. Because we like redundancy, we're going to add two. And OK. And if I click on Finish, there's my policy. Basically, I have a policy. It's called NTP policy. Don't worry about the name. Again, we'll have a video on naming. It's uh, enabled, okay? And now if I come under policy groups, and again, I right click, I create a pod policy group. And maybe I wanna call this, uh, maybe a better way to do this is pod one dash NTP Paul group. Okay, and for my policy, here's what I'm going to call the policy I just built. And this is, again, very common in ACI. I create a policy, and then I come into a policy group, and I call the policy I just created, right? So here's my policy group. I'm creating it. What am I doing in this policy group? I'm calling the individual policy I just created. And you can see how I could have multiple policies within a policy group. Okay, this case, I'm just going to stick to one, but you can kind of understand why ACI is doing it this way. 
Okay. And sure enough, there you see where it's at. Now a profile, again, if you recall, that's where am I going to apply that policy group? So if I right click and I go to create a profile and I call this one uh, pod one NTP prof, for example, and um, I have to select a pod, okay, pod one. all devices in pod one. And notice now in the profile, it's asking me to, to pick the policy group. And sure enough, I can click that. Okay. So if you had multiple pods, we're probably not gonna get that far. But if you had multiple pods, you could have different policies at this level for different pods. I don't know that that would be a terribly common thing, but it is cap capable of doing that right but in our case we just called our pod selector pod one we selected all devices in pod one and then i call the policy group that i created in the previous step i hit submit and voila that's ntp so everything then should be done okay thanks for watching uh, as always if you have any comments or questions please let me know